Mike Ladd was able to play as many minutes, never mind the effect. What, what, what did you expect out of him? I didn't expect that many minutes. I told Bud Namick on the pregame show that uh, he went through stuff yesterday. He's been getting shots up. He, uh, he's done OK. Curtis Allen came up uh, before the game and said he worked him out, got a lot of shots up before or, or earlier uh, when the guys showed up, so maybe an hour and a half before the game, and he said, he was hitting it and hitting it and hitting it, and it didn't seem like the thumb was bothering him at all. And when they went on that sc scoring spree early in the game, I think we were up 10-3, and all of a sudden they were ahead 11-10. I just turned to him and thought, you know what, you got to go in and you got to guard and see if he could do it. And uh, he did a good job. He, he played with energy, toughness, and we needed that. So I, I was surprised he played. I'm surprised he played 24 minutes. I'm surprised he played as well as he did, but I sure am happy. And uh, there was one point where uh, Mike was uh, going to the rack late in the game, and, and uh, he got followed and got hit. You know, it looked pretty decent on that on that thumb there. Uh, were you kind of worried or anything about that thumb at that point? Or I wasn't. Maybe I probably should have been. But there were other things going through my mind. I didn't even, you know what, I didn't even think about it. And, and he didn't have any sort of issue or anything like that? He didn't say anything. So he uh, stepped to the line and made two free throws. He seemed pretty uncertain about his status when we talked on Tuesday. Just what, what happened between then and now that made you so much more confident? Well, I, just, I was just saying, last couple days he got a lot of shots up. It's his right thumb. He was doing a good job. Yesterday, we put him in drills in practice. He did a good job, but he was just in and out, in and out. And then about an hour and a half before the game today, Coach Allen put him through a shooting workout. And Coach Allen came to me before the game and said, hey, just so you know, I put my, I didn't know I did it, had done it. But he said, I put Mike through a shooting workout early. And he said, I couldn't tell at all that the thumb was bothering him. And he was hitting shot. So when they went on a spurt, we put him in. Pac-12 continues, the home teams keep winning. Why is it that the home teams are just so dominant this year in conference play? I, I don't know. I don't know how it compares to past years. Uh, but my guess is it's easier to win at home than on the road. <laughs> I mean, it's just dominant right now. It's crazy. You know, it's split. It's like 80-20. I mean, is, is that what it is? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's got to be close to that. Well, wish we could play the rest of the games at home. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, it's, it's, it's easier to play at home. It's easier to play at home. It's, nothing's a given. It's like tonight's game. I mean, USC came in, did a great job, I thought. Every, every time we got up to 10 or 11, it seemed like within a minute, they cut it right back down to five or six, and that's two possessions. So uh, Again, I'm going back to our game and us. I'm just really pleased that we were able to pull out a win. We needed it. And I don't know how to answer your question any better than it's easier to play at home than on the road. Well, looking at your next one playing at home, you have UCLA. Can you look at that game for us? Yeah. I'm not sure that'll be easy. <laughs> uh, UCLA is a very good ball club. Not sure how it came out tonight. I know they were playing over in Seattle. It was supposed to be a really uh, a tight game with about 10 minutes to go. I heard at halftime. They lost, but UCLA lost, or? Yeah, by two. By two. So, <clears throat> regardless, I know they're good, and they are big. Uh, we did a decent job tonight on the boards, out rebounding USC 34 to 20, but uh, UCLA is like the complete opposite of USC as far as bigs. And we, speaking of size, are, are we going to see more of uh, maybe DJ Shelton in that game against UCLA? Oh, I would assume so, yeah. Right, we, we tried to match up with USC size-wise, and, and when we didn't, they hurt us. There were times we had Brock Modem out there and, and, uh, and Abe, and they exposed us. We were trying to keep those two on the floor because it, it helps our offensive execution, a lot of things that we try to run. But again, they, they hurt us, spreading us out, driving it, hitting shots. And we just weren't quick enough to, to get to their shooters and their, and their penetrators. So we went small tonight. I, I don't foresee that being the same Saturday. Their lack of size, uh, pres presumably plan going in to try to get the ball inside yeah. to Brock a lot. 
Yeah, but you know what? It, it will be every game. I mean, you're right. Because their lack of size, it's still get the ball to Brock. But Saturday, it'll still be get the ball to Brock. Okay, now we're going to go to the radio. Bud. Ken, you there? Yes. All right. Uh, 60 to 53, the final score. The Cougars get the victory. Uh, USC was able to, to kind of just keep this one close. Uh, Cougs build a 14 point second point lead, but Trojans came back, made it interesting at the end. Was it more a case of, of the Cougs needing more killer instinct or, or giving credit to USC? Well, I think we had, I think our guys tried. I don't know about the killer instinct. Maybe we didn't. Uh, maybe we didn't have that. I I give the credit to USC. They never quit. They kept battling. They hit some big shots, and uh, you know Reggie missed a, a free throw, or maybe it was, I think it was one. I think it was the front end of one one, and they went down and scored on that. Uh, they were aggressive at mid court, and and uh, we lost the ball. In that situation, I, I think really more of the credit goes to USC. Played man to man the entire game and uh, might have done that thrill early this season in a game, but I think I remember he's flashing a little zone in pretty much in every game, but solely man to man in this one. Right. We we challenged the guys. Uh, we challenged the guys last few days about our man to man defense after going to Arizona State and playing man, um, I think the whole game except three possessions. And uh, and obviously we know what Arizona State did to us against our man. And so we want to come back home, work on some things, and see if we couldn't uh, tighten up our man defense. And we looked at tonight as an opportunity to, to do that. So we took advantage of it. Overall, you thought you did a good job on the man-to-man -man with uh, looking at the, the way the game went and asking the numbers? Yeah, overall, I think we did. There were many times that it was difficult to match up with them speed-wise. And a lot of that is my own fault. I had different combinations out there. And a few times we had a couple bigger guys, and, and we just simply did not match up. They spread us out, and they were able to drive it. Sometimes they got to the rim. Sometimes it was short-range shots. And then uh, they were able to also kick it out for threes. I'm glad they didn't shoot 50% again, like the last couple teams. But they did hit uh, 36%. So uh, we, weren't, we weren't perfect in that area either. One thing I thought was interesting was uh, I thought the man-to-man -man was pretty aggressive in the first half. And there was only one foul on Washington State. That was an offensive foul for an illegal screen on Abe. And, and uh, the man-to-man -man stayed aggressive the second half. But USC only able to shoot three free throws in this game. Yeah, I, I agree. I thought, and that's where I think our defense was pretty good. We were able to play aggressive. We were alert. Uh, I, think, I think we were pretty active. And yet we weren't just fouling. So I, I thought that area was really good with our man defense. And I know USC's uh, dealing with some setbacks injury-wise, so they aren't the biggest team in the world right now. But to win the rebound battle 34-20 to 20 and hold the Trojans to only three offensive rebounds when they missed 29 shots was pretty impressive. Yeah, I, thought, I agree with you. We, we did a nice job on the boards, and uh, I'm, I'm glad we were able to do a good job on the boards. UCLA is going to be a whole other situation, so hopefully we can uh, carry it over to, to Saturday. What, are they just a little bit bigger than USC? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we talked pregame, and you said Mike Ladd had been able to practice a little bit. You weren't quite sure what you were going to be able to get out of Mike in this game. He ended up playing 24 minutes and uh, had four rebounds, and I thought did a pretty good job of uh, defensively as well. Yeah, I was really impressed with his defense. And, you know, what transpired was I was frustrated early in the game. We got up 10-3, and within a couple minutes, all of a sudden, they're ahead 11-10. And uh, I just turned to Mike and told him to get in there almost instinctively. I, I knew he was dressed and, and, and was able and available to play. And it just hit a button with me. And I was just like, forget it. We're putting him in there right now and just find out if he can do anything. Brock Modem, very efficient again. 26 points on 11 field goal attempts, making nine of them. Yeah, very efficient. And, and made most of his free throws. Um, Damn, same old deal with him. He just continues to play good basketball. And as you have done quite often at home, move the ball well. 20 field goals, 14 assists. Yeah, I like the way we moved the ball. I thought we executed some things really well. And uh, sharing the ball is a priority to us. And I thought our guys did a nice job of, of doing that tonight. Ken, congratulations on the win.